Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here. So for today's video, it's a random one because I'm posting on a Sunday and what? I like never post on Sunday, but here we are. And the reason I'm posting today is because we have the brand new Glam Light collaboration with Strawberry Shortcake. This just arrived. I am so excited to dive into this collection. So you guys want to see what this is all about, what type of look I create, and is it worth it? Well, then definitely keep watching. So I am just as surprised as you guys are to be posting on a Sunday because I typically never get like packages on the weekends <laughs> and this is actually not supposed to be coming until tomorrow but she got here early and I am living for it. What was that? <laughs> I'm so excited because Glamlight just recently launched their Strawberry Shortcake Collection. You guys already know, even though it's not really the same, but it's kind of the same to me. We have a Strawberry Shortcake roll to go with this today. I had to go get one because even though this is not like a food thing, I don't know. Every time I see Strawberry Shortcake, I want to have like the Strawberry Shortcake ice cream. I want to have the roll. I want to have anything and everything Strawberry Shortcake because it is just so delicious. So <laughs> with this, said, we're just going to pretty much dive right on in. Okay, guys, so this collection includes the Strawberry Shortcake. This is the Berry Licious Palette. The Strawberry Shortcake. This is the Berry Sweet Lip Kit. Strawberry Shortcake Blush. And the Strawberry Shortcake Sponge. The only thing I actually didn't get in my PR box is the lashes. I didn't even know they had lashes, but it's not in my box, so that's completely okay. I'm still very grateful that we got these items. So I'm going to kind of go over every single thing for you guys and tell you guys the price points. I do want to let you guys know that as of right now, the entire collection is sold out, so I do apologize. But you guys can still buy some of the items individually. So I'll tell you guys what's available and what's not available. I'm sure it's going to come back. I'm pretty sure they'll do a restock later on. But yeah, the entire full collection is currently sold out at this time. So the first thing we have is the Strawberry Shortcake. This is the Berry Licious Palette. Now this actually does retail for $32. You guys can use code AllieD, which will save you guys 15% off at Glamlight. On this collection or any other collection you guys which should get at Glamlight, if you guys use my code, you guys do save 15% off. It is an affiliate-based code, so I do make a small kickback off of that. But it's a great way to save some coin and support me at the same time, but never, ever, ever feel obligated to do so. So here we have the Berry Licious palette. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. It's super cute. One, I like how the back is like actually like strawberries. It's like a very light gradient strawberry effect. Super, super cute. It's how she looks on the inside. Absolutely gorgeous. Really does capture the essence of strawberry shortcake and of strawberries. I think it's so beautiful. Plus these shades in here are just like so beautiful. And... Uh, I wish I had a strawberry scent. Unfortunately, it does not have a strawberry scent, but here we have the Berry Licious palette. I'm going to quickly swatch it for you guys before I move on to the blush and the lip kit. Now, I noticed that there's no shade names on this palette. Like, there's no shade names right here. There's no shade names on the back. So, unfortunately, I can't tell you guys what the shade names are, so we're just going to kind of go over row by row. But here we have the first row right here. These swatched beautifully. The, mat the mattes are super pigmented, and again, those shimmers are always so buttery and clean so buttery and creamy they just literally glide right on but here we have the first row here we have that second row oh my god this row is probably my favorite it's so beautiful these greens <sighs> to die for I me mean, just look at this particular green shade right here like is that not the prettiest freaking shade oh my god i love it and then we have the last row right here. This is such a gorgeous like foil shade, absolutely beautiful. And I do wanna give you guys a heads up since these are pink and berry and red tones, they probably do have the capability of staining because they are staining my hands right here, but it is really easy to take off. You just have to make sure you really do kind of scrub there for a second just to be able to remove the product. But it probably is just going to leave just a tinge of pink and red behind but that's usually with every single reds pinks and purples that i've ever played with they tend to just stain the skin just very very lightly so i just want to give you guys give you guys a heads up there okay so next we did the strawberry shortcake blush this is going to retail for 14 dollars and currently this is going to retail for 14 dollars and unfortunately it is currently sold out at this moment but here we have this blush right here she is a little bit on like the really pinky side a little intimidating for me i don't necessarily wear pinks like this but we're gonna swatch it because maybe it's one of those shades that like really kind of takes you by surprise but it's like a barbie pink yeah it's like a barbie pink so i feel like this is one of those shades that you just have to really play around with you guys know i'm very much more into like a peachy shade than a like really like light baby pink but that's the kind of shade that we have going right here but it looks like it's going to blend out really nicely and not be too too heavy in coverage so that can make it really like, really 
bright it can make it really like it can make it like really like soft and blur when you apply it so here is the blush Next, we do have the Berry Sweet Lip Kit. This actually does retail for $15. It's going to include a lipstick and a gloss. So, of course, we're going to go ahead and try these out for you guys. Let's go ahead and start with the lipstick. Okay, so here's going to be that lipstick right here. It definitely is on, like, a pink berry side it's a little bit darker to be like a pink pink but like it's a pink and red mix it's definitely not my my favorite color just because i feel like this color just doesn't really suit my skin tone but i will say it is a pretty color all on its own and i feel like if you have deep skin tone this would be freaking fire on you this would be so damn gorgeous but i feel like for me it just isn't the most complimentary shade of my skin tone, but it does feel nice and creamy and soft and hydrating. It feels like I'm wearing chapstick, so I really do like that. So here we have the lipstick. And not to mention, this packaging is just so damn cute. All right, guys, next we do have the gloss right here. So the gloss is gonna have a little bit of like a pink red tint to it. You guys can see that right there. It feels incredible on the lips. It's so high shine, it's not sticky. I think it's really beautiful. I would actually wear this gloss all on its own. And it smells a little bit like strawberry. It has like a light strawberry scent to it. So I really love that it has a light strawberry scent. I just think it smells so good. It definitely feels very comfortable on the lips. And I can see myself wearing this one by itself or putting this on top of like a lip liner or like a red liquid lip. This would probably be so gorgeous on it. So here we have the, <laughs> so here we have the gloss right here. And then lastly, we do have the strawberry shortcake sponge right here. This actually does retail for $8. And I will say this sponge is super cute. It's like a little strawberry. It's so cute. I don't know how practical this portion would be because I usually like to use this side to like apply foundation so I feel like this gets a little bit in the way but I feel like this would be like a really good like inner corner for like your concealer maybe setting underneath your under eyes I feel like this would be really good for that but I do think it's super cute okay so that is the entire collection so let's go ahead and zoom on in and let's play this palette because I'm so excited <laughs> I just realized I looked in the mirror how long have I been filming this video with one earring? Which means that my earring fell out at some point in this video. <laughs> I just filmed that entire, like entire freaking intro. And the entire like review of the products and going over it with one freaking earring this entire time. Time. Ain't none of y'all said anything. No one said anything. The fuck? <laughs> my God. That's so embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Oh my God. You know, if I was a proper YouTuber and as a proper, like, like, like Tati, she's very proper and elegant. I freaking love her. She would have like done the whole thing all over again. Like she would have filmed the whole thing all over again, but that's not me. I'm not proper like that. I am just, I'm me. And this is a reality. This is the truth. So if I was like serving at Disney, this is how I'd be right now with one freaking earring and ain't no one tell me shit. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't believe it. Where did they go? <laughs> okay. So now that I'm done making a fool out of myself, I just took off the other earring because I genuinely don't know where that earring went. It just like fell off somewhere and it's so embarrassing. I'm so embarrassed. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and dive into the palette, but I wanted to let you guys know, if you guys follow me on social media, you guys will one know that I'm doing my five days of giveaway and today we're on day four. By the time you guys see this video, my day four might be live. It goes live at 5 p.m. every day at 5 p.m. Eastern time. So you guys go check that out. But two, Bling Brushes just announced their newest collection called the Ice Queen Collection. My review is coming soon, but I'm just gonna do a quick little uh, 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 uh. That's all I'm gonna show you guys. <laughs> it was a little picture right here. Review is coming soon, but if you guys wanna pick up that collection, it does launch on Friday, December 9th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You guys can use code Ally to save you guys 10% off of that. Wait till you guys see the brushes, wait till you guys see the reveal, wait till you guys see everything. It's coming very soon, I promise, but these are really gorgeous, really gorgeous, really, uh, okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, I know this is like a like pinky red, you know, palette, you know, scheme, pinky red palette. But honestly, I kind of want to play with like the greens. Like you guys know that I don't really do a lot of reds and pink eye looks. Like pure pink, like these two shades right here, sure, absolutely. But like reds, I don't know. I don't really like playing with reds too often for multiple reasons. One, I find it intimidating. Two, it stains. Three, I just don't think it looks really good on me personally. So that's why I don't like to play with it. So I'm actually going to be playing with some of the pinks, but mostly the greens today because it's the greens are just calling out to me the most. So we're actually going to start off with this shade right here. We're going to put this in the inner corner. <laughs> And we're gonna work our way outward. I'm sorry, I'm just still on the kick that I filmed that entire 
entire entire thing with one earring and i can only just imagine what y'all are thinking you're probably like bitch get your shit together see this is why i don't film on sundays <laughs> <laughs> honestly i don't have my shit together oh my gosh i'm going to tap that in like so we're not gonna really bring it too far because i want to go into like this shade right here it's like a green gold shift i just feel like it's so beautiful and i just want to take it we're gonna put that right next to that pink we're kind of going to make like a strawberry on my eye for the most part although it should be red instead of pink but like we're gonna try, we're gonna try to do like a strawberry-esque look but with pink instead of red. Okay, then we're gonna lay, oh my gosh, this green shade right next to that. Like, she's stunning. This is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous collection. I only wish that this came out maybe like in the spring or summer because right now I'm in like the Christmas mode, so I wanna play with a lot of Christmas-inspired collections. And I feel like Glamlight, oh my God, Glamlight would fucking kill a christmas collection glam light would really turn like you know the the like the little debbie christmas trees they can make a whole collection out of that oh my god it'd be so freaking cool i just i think this collection is super cute i just wish that it came out at a different time just because i'm really much i'm really into like the christmas theme right now and i just feel like this is definitely more like a spring summer collection but i will say it's absolutely beautiful like still regardless of that it's still really gorgeous i just when it did come out at a different time, you know what I mean? And then we're gonna go into this shade right here, this gorgeous like emerald green shade. And we're gonna tap down the outer corner. I feel like this is a really pretty like combo look. Like it kind of does give like a strawberry feel for the most part, right? Like I'm kind of like, I'm kind of sensing it just a little bit. And tap that on, then we're gonna blend that out. Okay, see to me, that is so pretty. That's like a very pretty, like almost like a strawberry look. Like I definitely can get the strawberry feel. So I'm going to do the other eye of camera. We're going to come back to do the lips and the blush together. And then I'll give you guys my thoughts on this collection. So let me go do the other guys and I'll be right back. I'm still thinking about that damn earring. Okay guys. So to finish off the eye look, since we do went kind of green, we're going to do like pinky underneath because I don't know. I just <laughs> one and two pink underneath so we're gonna take a mix of this pink berry shade right here and we're gonna mix it with this one right here we're kind of just mix the two together i feel like that'd make a really really pretty pretty look so i'm gonna tap in i will say there's definitely some kick up in this pan and there isn't too much definitely some kick up in this pan and a little bit of fallout in the face but it generally isn't that bad at all so i'm just gonna blend this out right here just like i said i'm just tapping in between the two just to kind of mix them together Okay, so now that that's laid down, let's go ahead and, okay, let me go ahead and throw on some white liner to go with that. Okay, now that that's laid down, we're gonna go into this shade right here. We're gonna use this as like an inner corner highlight because I just love that foil face, like shade. I just think it's so pretty. So we're gonna use that as an inner corner, inner corner highlight today. So like it's really gonna complement like this pink eye look. Like it's really gonna complement like the inner corner because it just, see how pretty that is? Definitely flakes, just a heads up. It does flake, you guys can see that fallout, but it's so beautiful. I'm going to add this right here as well. Okay, so now that the eyes are done, we're going to go into the blush right here, and we're going to apply that. See how well I like this. Ooh, she's very, very light. Okay, wow. Okay, so I definitely don't hate this because I was, like, a little hesitant at first because it is, like, a baby pink, but it's laying down absolutely beautifully. It's blending out so nicely. It definitely has some pigment, but it's not, like, overwhelming, so you're not going to see, like, poof, so much blush in your face. It actually is a really, really soft blush very 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 gorgeous color okay so for lips i really want to do a red lip i just feel like red lip is going to complement this so well so in order for me to do that i'm not going to use the lipstick today because i'm not the biggest fan of like the color but i do want to use this gloss so i'm going to apply like a red lip liner fill my lips in with like a red liquid lip and then we're going to put the gloss on top because i just feel like that's really going to complement this look beautifully so let me just quickly line my lips i just need to find my red liner I'm just going to use the Jaclyn Cosmetics bow one right here because it's just the first one I grabbed. Okay, guys, so for my red lip today, typically I would go in with my Lunar Beauty Aphrodite Red Liquid Lip. But since it's a demi-matte, it's still going to have a little bit of shininess to it and it's not going to fully dry down. I want a super matte red lip so I can put the gloss on top. So I'm actually going to go in with the NARS. This is called Star Woman right here. Such a beautiful red. I absolutely love this one so much. This is a full-on matte liquid lip. So it's going to dry down. Then we can put the gloss right on top. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this and just... Look at that color, perfection. Okay guys, so now that this is dried down, do we not see how gorgeous this red lip is? Ah, oh, 
it's the prettiest matte, like full on matte red liquid lip. I'm obsessed with it. We're gonna go ahead and go in and put the gloss right on top. I told you guys this gloss would be beautiful on its own. On top of a lip liner, oh, I said it also be so gorgeous on top of a red liquid lip and that's what we're gonna do today. So just look at this. Oh my God, like look at how gorgeous that is. That is so freaking pretty. And this is the final look. All right, guys, and this is the final look. So what do we think? What do we think? Honestly, I think it's absolutely beautiful. Typically, I do not wear a bright, bold red lip with like a really colorful eye look because I feel like it's too much on the face. But I generally feel like this red lip really does complement this eye look beautifully. It definitely does fit into the, you know, the feel, definitely does fit in the theme of like the strawberry shortcake. I think it's so beautiful. So first we do have the strawberry shortcake Berry Delicious eyeshadow palette. One, I have to say, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous eyeshadow palette. If you love greens, pinks, reds, this is definitely going to be a palette for you. It definitely does feel like a strawberry shortcake. You're gonna have those pinks, those berries, those reds, and those greens that really represent a strawberry. <laughs> I think it's absolutely such a gorgeous palette. And not to mention the shimmers in here are truly just so amazing. I love Glam Light shimmers. They are some of the best shimmers out there. They're my favorite. And the mattes are so, so pigmented. So, and so, so pigmented. I absolutely do really enjoy this palette. I say my favorite row is probably gonna be this green row. This will probably be the row that I get the most use out of, but I really do love that shade right there. And then this foil shade right here is to die for. It is gorgeous. So I think Glam Light really did hit the mark when it came to the strawberry shortcake feel on this palette. Now this actually does retail for $32. It's still available if you guys wanna get your hands on it. And I just think it's so, so cute. Such a cute palette with a little strawberry shortcake on the front. Then you're gonna have a little palette right here. Then we do have the Strawberry Shortcake Blush. Honestly, I really did not know what to expect when playing this blush. I thought this was gonna be like a baby pink. I generally thought I wasn't gonna like this blush because of the fact that I was like, ooh, it's a little bit too baby pink for me. It's a bit too pinky. I love a very peachy, orangey blush more than like a pinky, pinky blush, but I just feel like it went on beautifully. It definitely has a little bit, it definitely has a beautiful pigmentation to it. It's so blendable, it's so blurring, and I just think it looks gorgeous on the skin, and I feel like this particular blush is going to complement every single skin tone out there because I really feel like it's such a universal shade. It's gorgeous. It's unfortunately sold out at this moment, but I definitely think this is gonna be brought back because it truly is such a gorgeous, gorgeous blush. Then, lip kit right here. Now I will say, I think the lipstick, it's a pretty color. It's just not a color for me personally. I'm just not into that color, but I think if you have deep skin tone, this would be absolutely gorgeous on you. But I will say the formula was really nice. It felt like I was wearing a chapstick on my lip. You barely felt it on, super hydrating. So I will definitely give it that. And the packaging was super cute. But this gloss, oh my God, I love this gloss. I love the way that it is slightly tinted. So you are gonna have a little bit of like a pinky red tint to it. It's so it's so high shine, it's not sticky. It smells a little bit like strawberries and it's very, very comfortable on the lips. And I really think that this is a type, a type of gloss that you guys can wear by itself on top of a lip liner, on top of any liquid lip that you wear, or you guys can really like enhance your red liquid lip by putting this on because truly it is just so, so gorgeous. Now, this actually does retail for 15 and it's still available, it's still available if you guys Wish to get it. Now, I don't have the lashes. I think the lashes are $10 on the website. Unfortunately, I don't have those to tell you guys about them, but I will say the last lashes that I did try from, um, the last, the last lashes that I tried from um, Glamite was the Haunted Lashes from their Scooby-Doo collection. Mm, so damn good, it's perfection. And then last but not least, we do have this little sponge right here. Now this actually does retail for $8. I didn't use it only because I don't really find it so practical for me. I just feel like this kind of takes away from the practice I feel like this kind of takes away from being practical for me. I like to use this side for foundation and I like to use this side for like a concealer, blending that out. So I just feel like I would only be able to use this as a concealer sponge. And so I think it's super cute. I love the aesthetic, so I really kind of don't want to ruin it. So I'm gonna kind of keep it the way it is because it's a cute little strawberry and I just think it's adorable. So I don't want to ruin it. It is available if you guys wish to get it, it's $8. So overall, I think this is an absolutely cute collection. I think Glamite really did a wonderful job on the strawberry shortcake feel. The only thing I will say about it is that I just wish that this collection came out like in the spring or summer because it is Christmas time. It doesn't necessarily scream like a Christmas collection to me, not that it was advertised as Christmas, but like I'm looking for more Christmassy stuff and I know Glam Light would fucking kill it on a Christmas collection. But I will say my eye look is kind of Christmassy. Like I feel somewhat of the Christmassy vibes by wearing this eye look, so I definitely love it for that. But I think it's just a super cute collection. I just wish it came out in the spring or the summer personally. But I do think overall it's a very cute collection 
collection. I really do enjoy it and I'm gonna keep playing with it over, I'm gonna keep playing with it. So <laughs> Glam Light, thank you guys so much for sending this my way. You guys know how much I love you guys. If you guys wanna pick up anything from this collection or anything at Glam Light, you guys can use my code AllieD to save you guys some coin. And yeah, I think this is super cute. I love the eye look and I just feel very festive right now. So that is it for today's video. I do apologize about the fiasco with the missing earring. I cannot believe I still <laughs> still way like too funny for me. I look so stupid. Ah, story of my life. But yeah, guys, that is it for today's video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already. So I do post four to five videos every single week. Make sure you guys head over to my other channel. It's R for Life. You guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And the biggest thank you goes to all these beautiful, wonderful page members you guys see right here. Thank you guys so much for everything. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for being here. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribed, you guys did not subscribe either way thank you guys so much for being here i love and appreciate each and every single one of you so with that said guys i love you and i'll see you guys in my very next video bye entire i can't wait to go over this entire collection with you guys show you guys what it's all, all and the strawberry shortcake and the strawberry shortcake i do want to let you guys know as of right now that you guys I do like guys, I did do have the strawberry shortcake. This is the sweet lip kit. It does, and not to mention, and not to mention the foil. I can't believe I fucked that up. Oh my God.